what's good hobbies welcome back to a new video today we're going to be interfacing with the peltier model again yeah and i know in my last video i actually talked about the peltier model how it actually generates electricity which you already know but i'm going to make a little rephrase in this video and we're going to be doing a lot of experiments using the peltier model so do what stay to the end of this video to get good insights and also other valuable information which you also need to know also just a tip of idea we're gonna be making an air cooler using the peltier model so if you don't want to miss that stay till the end now we all know that a peltier model is a solid state device that actually produces heat or cold depending on the current direction when powered it uh, produces heat on one side and actually produces cool at the other side Now we all know there is a lot of filter models depending on the current draw and also voltage such as the 12 volt 2 to 3 amps and also the 5 volt 1 to 2 amps. The one which I have here is actually the 5 volt 1 to 2 amps type of filter model which I will be using in this video and this is the one which I will be interfacing today. Checking the total current which is drawn from the Peltier model when it's connected to a 5 volt power supply, we can see close to 1.5 amps, which, which is actually draws, which is was close to the value which I actually said in the beginning. To make the cooling system possible, we're going to be using 12 volt 0.10 ampere's cooling fan. Yeah, you can salvage this cooling fan for some electronic equipment, such as stabilizers and DVDs or different electronic stuff. But this is the fan which we're going to be using. To make the cooling process possible also we are able to get a close to 12 degrees out of the peltier model on the cold side and also a kind of a result of a moist or cold water when the peltier model is turned on for close to 10 minutes okay right now we are going to be doing another test we are going to put a droplet of water on the peltier model cold side and we are going to leave it to run for a while and let's see if it actually freezes that droplet which we actually dropped okay i think it is taking uh, close to eternity just to get this freezing it was not really freezing after dropped for close to 30 minutes it's uh, only some kind of little strong and moist it's not really as liquid as the way we kept it but it's not completely freezing uh, I think the issue is that we need a very good cooling system to cool the place that is actually getting hot for us to get the maximum coldness on the cold side of the Peltier model. But anyways, what it was not a success. Let's quickly go to the next one. Building the casing of this project will not be difficult since we are only using carton and super glue, aiming to make a box square shape with the fitting of its 12 wood fan and also the space of the Peltier model which is going to be inserted in. For the body construction, we're going to be using the few parts such as the super glue, the scissors and also some few cat on to make the case possible. Gluing everything up, we are coming close to the ending of building the frame. Also, going to be using a small piece of cartons also to glue to the angle of each side to make it strong and very tight. Okay, I think we are done with everything. Very tight and very nice. You can make this project at home if you like and uh, just try to make very box something that will be able to fit the pattern and also the PLT model. 
okay all done now let me explain how this actually works okay first off i'm going to be starting off with join the circuit and uh, actually the the filter model and also the fan yeah now this is how it works now actually when the fan is powered on the fan actually draws air from this direction like for, it draws air from the other direction to the filter model when the air which is actually draws from those holes when those air when the air which it actually draws reaches the filter model coldness it changes the temperature then the fan blows it out at the other direction thereby getting a cooler air on the output side of the fan i hope you understand it if you have any question let me know in the comment section let's quickly go to the next one tested the normal temperature of my place and then tested the temperature of the air cooler we could just see one degree celsius difference yeah because the normal temperature of my area at that time was actually 24 degrees and then testing the temperature out of the air cooler we only got 23 degrees celsius which was actually just one degree celsius difference which is not actually efficient and uh, not actually good anyways we still have more ideas in mind I think it was not really a success on the first build of the air cooler, so I'm thinking in mind of another idea. Yeah, you got me right. We are going to use a container in this case to make everything possible instead of using cartons, which may cause air losses and air non stability. We're going to be using a container to put everything up. Definitely what is happening is that we're going to put a fan on top of the container which is going to suck air from the atmosphere into the container and then we're going to put some kind of ice block inside the container which is going to change the temperature and going to let it out. So we are not using the filter model right now, we are just using the natural ice which uh, we, are, we got from a deep freezer. So let's test it out and let's see if it makes a difference. So what I actually did is that I actually made the project using the Peltier module and also going to be making the project again using just ice blocks to actually see which one is efficient and which one is more better in making and uh, yeah so you need to stay tuned to that and if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button let's go to it. So this is how the fan is going to be placed. The fan is going to be placed on inside the carton, a son of a box carton to be able to stand on top of the container. The fan is going to be placed in the, on top of the container for it to blow air inside. Okay, let's put the eyes inside the, the container and uh, let's test it out. Okay, the temperature is dropping. Uh, let's give it some time and see its results. Oh my god, we got about 19 degrees from the air cooler, which is about 5 degrees Celsius difference. This is mind blowing. We got about 1 degree Celsius temperature difference using the Peltier model and up to 5 degrees Celsius using the ice cubes, which is a big difference. Anyways, this was really a fun project to make. You can make this project at home, test it out for yourself and let me know in the comment section if you have made it once or you are planning to make it. I hope you really enjoyed this video and also learn about lots on Peltier models. Thank you very much for watching. Do not hit the subscribe button if you like my content and I will see you in the next video.